Students, parents, faculty, family, and friends, welcome to the Junior Awards Virtual Ceremony. My name is James Antonelli, and I'm proud to be pr the principal of this great school. Students, please know how very proud I am of each of you. Many of you will be recognized in this ceremony for the strong commitment and dedication you have made to your education and to your community. Congratulations to all award recipients. I'd like to thank all of the presenters in this virtual ceremony for taking the time to share the outstanding accomplishments of each student. Parents, guardians, congratulations to all of you. I'm sure you are very proud. Please have a wonderful summer. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay strong. This too shall pass. I hope to see all of you back next fall. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Susan Lynch, and I'm pleased to present the college-sponsored book awards on behalf of the guidance department. The book award criteria are established by the donating colleges and universities and selected by a WA committee honoring very deserving and dedicated junior students. Several of these awards also offer potential for merit scholarship, so I encourage each student to review information received from the college or university. Many colleges and universities provide books and or certificates as a physical award. Given that we are not meeting in person tonight, the recipients of the awards will receive the award in the mail or in person at Westford Academy upon our return to school. Let's get started with the book awards. The first book award is Assumption College. This award is presented to a student who is actively involved in the school and community at large. This year's recipient is Elizabeth Shepard. Bates College. The Bates Book Award aims to honor an outstanding junior pursuing academic excellence and a commitment beyond self through active citizenship, community service, and social responsibility. This award is presented in recognition of outstanding leadership, academic achievement, and creativity in the spirit of the Bates College motto, Amore Ac Studio, with ardor and devotion. This year's recipient is Kylie Hoare. Bausch and Lomb Science Award. This award is presented to a junior who demonstrates exceptional talent and promise in the field of science. This year's recipient is Jason Liang. Bay Path University. Bay Path University would like to recognize a female junior with an interest in community service, a commitment to academics, and a strong presence in our school. This year's recipient is Colleen Hrul. Brandeis University. The Brandeis Book Award is given to an outstanding junior in the top 10% of the class who demonstrates a commitment to civic engagement, community service, political activism, social justice, or volunteer work. This year's recipient is Hesmin Rodriguez. Bryant University. This award is presented to a student with a challenging academic curriculum and a strong commitment to extracurricular activities. The student must also hold leadership positions and command the respect of both faculty and peers. This year's recipient is Madeline Carroll. The Clarkson University Leadership and Achievement Awards. Clarkson is pleased to present two awards recognizing juniors who represent outstanding leadership and qualities and academic promise. The recipient of the Clarkson University High School Achievement Award is Alicia Bergeron. The recipient of the Clarkson University Leadership Award is Brian Ellis. Dartmouth College. This award is presented to a student in the junior class who has attained an outstanding academic average and, most importantly, has demonstrated outstanding leadership in the school and community. This year's recipient is Karen Jin. Elmira College. The Elmira College Key Award is awarded to a male and female student who are committed to the school and university. This year's recipients are Mia Towers and Owen Bramante. George Washington University. The GW Book Award recognizes a student who embodies the GW drive and spirit, specifically with his or her academic excellence, leadership outside of the classroom, 
diversity of thought, and ability to put knowledge into action. This year's recipient is Kathleen Carlson, Harvard University. The Harvard Book Prize is awarded to an outstanding junior student based on academic excellence, exceptional personal qualities, and significant contribution to the school and community. This year's recipient is Arpit Rao, Johns Hopkins University. The Johns Hopkins Book Award is presented to a junior who demonstrates the qualities of a scholar as determined by Mr. Johns Hopkins when he founded the university in 1876. The student should be wise, thoughtful, and a progressive guide in whatever department of work or thought in which he may be engaged. In this spirit, I am pleased to present the Johns Hopkins Book Award to Toby Bluestein. LaSalle College. This award recognizes a junior student who is dedicated to community service and is a positive presence in the school. This year's recipient is Taylor Pollard. The Ronsellier Medal Award. This award is presented to a junior who demonstrates potential for success in an academic setting, excels in math and science courses, and exhibits significant involvement in extracurricular activities. This year's recipient is Matthew Ding, Rochester Institute of Technology. The RIT Computing Medal is presented to a junior male and female student who have distinguished themselves academically, are active and involved members of the school and community, and demonstrate an interest and ability in computing. This year's recipients are Antara Parmar and William Zhang. Rochester Institute of Technology. The RIT Innovation and Creativity Award is presented to a male and female junior student who demonstrate outstanding achievement in, innov in innovation, creativity, or entrepreneurship. This year's recipients are Olivia Dunn and Tasia Kosaru. St. Lawrence University. The St. Lawrence University Book Award recognizes a member of the junior class who has consistently demonstrated academic success while establishing him or herself as an integral and committed member of our community. In honor of this demonstrated commitment to making a difference in our community, I am proud to present this award to Caitlin Rabicki. St. Michael's College. The St. Michael's Book Award for Scholarship and Service recognizes two outstanding students who demonstrate a commitment to volunteerism and leadership in their community service endeavors. St. Mike's believes that if not for those who challenge themselves, those with the ambition to find solutions and the course to act on their convictions, where would we be? This year's recipients are Caitlin Ditto and Mia Ciano. Salem State University. This award is presented to a student who has demonstrated a commitment to the community through work, volunteerism, family or peer commitment, and or civic engagement. Salem's goal is to encourage students to be recognized for their personal commitment to support the community and the high school. This year's recipient is Nathan Brown. Smith College. This award is presented to an exceptional young woman who is a positive presence leader, and contributor to the school and community at large. This young woman must demonstrate concern for others and exemplify scholarship and community service, the qualities that characterize the thousands of Smith graduates. This year's recipient is Megan Tan. Stonehill College. Stonehill seeks to educate the whole person so that each student thinks, acts, and leads with courage toward the creation of a more just and compassionate world. To that end, Stonehill seeks to recognize the academic achievement of a high school junior who has demonstrated a commitment to learning as well as a consistent dedication to the betterment of the surrounding community. This year's recipient is Megan Mulhern. Suffolk University. This award honors a student who exemplifies commitment to his or her education and school community. This year's recipient is Sadie Green. Tufts University. 
This award is presented to an outstanding junior who is a significant contributor to our school and community. This year's recipient is Veronica Shu. Tulane University. Tulane's motto is, not for oneself, but for one's own. Tulane would like to recognize a current junior who embodies our motto by nominating a true servant leader for the Tulane Book Award. This year's recipient is Lauren Wazik. University of Chicago. This award is presented to a student whose transcript reflects both the most challenging coursework offered by the high school and an interest in a wide variety of subject areas. The student is a person whom the faculty would label as a scholar with a lively mind. Finally, candidates should be a visible member of the student body as a result of his or her contributions and the commitment to high school and the greater community. This year's recipient is Fabian Arnold. The University of Rochester Xerox Award. The U of R Xerox Award for Innovation and in Information Technology is presented to a junior who demonstrates a strong interest in innovation and or information technology, pursues technologies outside of school, and leads other so students to find new solutions to old problems. This year's recipient is Erin Blazik. The University of Rochester Humanities Award. The U of R Frederick Douglass and Susan B. Anthony Humanities Award is presented to a student who demonstrates strength in course grades and co-curricular activities, good leadership skills, and a demonstrated commitment to understanding social issues. This year's recipient is Abigail Rosenthal Pitts. The University of Rochester Leaders Award. The U of R George Eastman Young Leaders Award is presented to a student who demonstrates strong leadership, has earned high grades, enrolled in challenging courses, and demonstrates extensive involvement in extracurricular activities. This year's recipient is Justin Otteson. Wellesley College. This award recognizes a junior female with an exceptional academic record, commitment to service, and demonstrated leadership. This year's recipient is Meredith Warson. Worcester Polytechnic Institute. This award honors a female student who has demonstrated exceptional academic achievement and leadership in the STEM field and is an engaged member of the school and community. The student must be an excellent collaborator and communicator. This year's recipient is Kaylin Jarrett. Yale University. This award is presented to a student who demonstrates outstanding personal character and intellectual promise. This year's recipient is Torsten Ulrich. We'd like to congratulate all of the award winners tonight. I'd like to present Ms. Sarah Ricard to present the business awards. Thank you so much. Hi, this is Mrs. Ricard on behalf of the WA Business Department. I have the pleasure of announcing our junior award winners. Our first junior recipient is Mr. Benjamin DeMarco. Ben has proven himself to be hardworking, focused, and detail-oriented. Ben has taken many courses, including Intro to Business, Marketing, Management, Microsoft Certified Specialist, and Accounting. He is quiet yet determined, and Ben shows a good business sense. He demonstrates maturity in his thoughts and actions. As a DECA member, Ben qualified for the state competition, and he is destined for a breakout year. He was also selected from a large applicant pool to serve as a DECA officer next year. Ben continually develops the ability to tap into his inner resources and will undoubtedly prove to be a force in all that he pursues. With much pride, we are happy to present the Junior Award to Ben, and we cannot wait to see what he does next. Congratulations. Our next junior recipient is Miss Elizabeth Nolan, or as we all know her as Ellie. Ellie has taken marketing, management, accounting, and yearbook. Through our time with Ellie, she has shown us that she takes a genuine interest in business. She is friendly, kind, and comes through as a consummate professional with projects and presentations. The overwhelming consensus from the business department is that Ellie can best be described as helpful. 
This year, she was the first one to reach out when school was shut down to ask what she could do to help finish the yearbook project. Ellie is an active member of the WA community. She surrounds herself with friends and family, relies on coffee and laughs to motivate her, but most of all, she's appreciative of the opportunities that surround her. She goes above and beyond, and we cannot wait for her to realize all the potential she has within because we see it in everything she does. Congratulations. Good evening. My name is Janet Kierstead, and I am the English Language Arts Curriculum Coordinator for grades 6 through 12. It is my pleasure to present the award for excellence in English to Vasuda Patil. In the words of her English teacher, Mrs. Hart, Vasuda is a hardworking student who is always willing to engage literature and its bigger picture connections to life in the world around her. She reads with an eye for complexity, and her eagerness for critical thinking enables her to contribute to class discussions with comments and questions that elevate the quality of the conversation. I appreciate her enthusiasm and her work ethic, and I am lucky to have had her as a member of my class this year. Congratulations, Vasuda. Hello all, hope the ceremony finds you and your families healthy and well. My name is Brian Rourke and as the K-12 PE Health and Wellness Curriculum Coordinator, I am proud to be standing here today to recognize this individual who will be receiving the Excellence in PE Health and Wellness Award. Sean Brown, who was nominated by Mr. Brown, will be receiving the Excellence in PE Health and Wellness Award. Sean's teacher, Mr. Brown, provided the following words about Sean. Sean was part of an upper classroom group with all of the students being either from grade 12 or grade 11. Sean always came to class with a great attitude and was always trying to make the PE experience a good one for everyone in the class. Brownie was always willing to help me and would many times volunteer to take on a leadership role even though there were many more seniors in the class than juniors. He loves all sports and made the class a fun place to be and I believe that he is very deserving of the Excellence in PE Award. Congratulations, Sean. Congratulations to the other recipient of the Excellence in PE Health and Wellness Award in grade 11 and to all the students receiving awards this year. Congratulations to all, and thank you. Hi, my name is Melanie Jazokas, and I'm here from the Health and Wellness Department here at Westford Academy. I'm here today to present an award for a class called Child Development. This award today goes to a student whose work ethic is absolutely unmatched. She is passionate about the subject matter, and her work absolutely shows it. It was an absolute pleasure to be her teacher, and because I only had her second semester, I really wish we didn't go out early in the year so that I could have spent the rest of the semester um, getting to know her a little bit better. But this year's award goes to Nakia Fairchild. Congratulations, Nakia. Hello, I'm Adam Ngano, the 6 to 12 Social Studies Coordinator for Westford Public Schools. I have the distinct honor of presenting the Grade 11 APA Psychology Award. This year's recipient, is Henry O'Donnell. Henry is a top student with an impeccable work ethic that seems to get stronger with each assignment and assessment that comes his way. Mr. Crookshank says he is an incredibly thoughtful young man in class discussions and is always asking questions not to earn participation points, but to make sure that he has a thorough understanding of the course material. On top of his academics, he is very personable and outgoing with a wonderful attitude and very kind nature. Congratulations on winning the Grade 11 APA Psychology Award, Henry. Hello, juniors. My name is Mr. Scully, and welcome to your 2020 Junior Virtual Awards Ceremony for Westford Academy. Today, I would like to congratulate the recipient of the Junior Award in U.S. History II, this is being presented to a young lady I had the privilege of working with this year, Nakia Fairchild. Nakia was chosen for this recognition based on her consistent perseverance and achievement in all facets of coursework, assessment, and instructional engagement. Nakia routinely displayed leadership attributes through her classwork performance, which was evident in her heightened commitment, creativity, an unparalleled work ethic that often combined to set the bar for her peers. Day in and day out, she exemplified the skills and habits we aim to foster here at Westford Academy, and she is extremely deserving of this distinction. So thank you, Nakia, for your exemplary performance. Congratulations, 
and I wish you all a great summer. Thank you. Hi, my name is Lane Winokur, and I am delighted to present the Grade 11 AP U.S. History Award to Toby Bluestein. Uh, Toby is a wonderful student. He always works so hard. He is an amazing teammate and someone everyone wants included in their group projects. But not only that, he is so passionate about connecting our studies in AP U.S. history to current events and to what is going on in the world and what matters to him and his generation. So I am delighted to give this award to such a deserving student. Toby, I can't wait to see what you do in the future and how you change the world for the better for all of us. Congratulations. Hi, my name is Beth McGregor and I had the pleasure of teaching Visuda Patil this year in Honors Economics. Also an A push, but this award is for her excellence in economics, which she highly deserves. Uh, Basuda always came to class um, ready to talk about current events and topics and to create uh, a connection between material we were learning theoretically in class to real world situations. Uh, she excelled at doing that. Uh, she also excelled at connecting economic concepts to historical events that she was studying in history class. So Basuda worked to have a really sound understanding of, of economics, whether it was micro or macro throughout the year, and displayed this understanding in her work, whether that was individual work or group work. So congratulations, Vasuda. This is well earned on your part and have a great summer. I had the pleasure of teaching Arpit Rao this year in AP US History, and he is highly deserving of this award for excellence in social studies, which he earned through his performance in my class, but also through his performance in AP Psych with Mr. Crookshank. In history class, uh, Arp had always asked cogent and probing questions about uh, the topic that we were studying that day. He often investigated a subject beyond class, going to movies on his own time, doing further research and investigation, staying after class at times to talk to me about these things. Uh, in history class, his ability to master historical concepts and historiographical questions and see topics from a variety of angles is is exceptional. In AP Psych, he was thoughtful with everything he produced according to Mr. Crookshank, and his work ethic was second to none. Everything he submitted this year was meticulous and oftentimes went further than what was expected of him. So congratulations, Arpit. This award is much deserved, and I hope you have a fantastic summer. Hello, I'm Christina Bold. I'm the 6th through 12 math curriculum coordinator and I am here to present the math and computer science awards. Our first award is for trigonometry and pre-calculus honors and this award goes to Torsten Ulrich. Torsten has excelled on every assessment this year, has gone above and beyond what is expected, and asks thoughtful and meaningful questions. He has remarkable problem-solving skills and is a model trig and pre-calc student. Congratulations, Torsten. This award is our AP Computer Science Award, which goes to Matthew Ding. Matthew is a student who goes above and beyond on every assignment. He is someone who has put his whole self into class and is always pushing himself to do better. His grades have been exceptional since day one. He is never afraid to ask questions and is always willing to help a classmate. It is with great pleasure that this year's AP Computer Science Award goes to Matt Ding. Congratulations, Matt. I'm Mr. Timothy Nettle, and tonight I would like to present the Junior AP Chemistry Book Award to a deserving student. Uh, this past year, this young man demonstrated excellence in all aspects of the course. His analytical nature, witty humor, and positive attitude were evident from the beginning of this past fall. Often with a smile on his face, this young man effectively defended his positions regarding various chemical principles, even though his position did not align with the majority view. It is my pleasure to present this award to junior Torsten Ulrich. Congratulations. Good evening. I'm Stefana Dunn, and I teach biology at Westford Academy. Today, I'd like to present the Advanced Life Science Award to an incredibly deserving student. 
this student exceeded expectations on each and every single AP Biology assignment and is also being recognized for her outstanding success in honors anatomy. Her exceptional sense of resiliency, creative thinking, and diligence set her up for success in the most challenging units of study. This student's authenticity, drive, and genuine concern for her peers were evident in laboratory experiments and collaborative group projects. It is my pleasure to present the Advanced Life Science Book Award to Abigail Rosenthal Pitts. Congratulations. Hello, my name is Andrea Mejia and I'm the K-12 Visual and Performing Arts Curriculum Coordinator and it is my pleasure to present the awards on behalf of the Visual and Performing Arts Department and I would like to begin with the Outstanding Artist Awards. This Outstanding Artist Award goes to a diligent student and thoughtful artist. This student's passion for drawing and painting is palpable. She is constantly creating. She takes risks and explores new materials and methods for expressing her ideas. She accepts feedback from others and is thoughtful in the suggestions she provides for her peers' work. This artist goes above and beyond the class requirements, often developing several artworks in the time given to complete one, each as detailed and creative as the last. She is ready for AP Studio Art next year, and the art department looks forward to continuing to work with her as she develops a competitive art portfolio. Congratulations, Caitlin Williams. The next Outstanding Artist Award I'd like to present on behalf of Ms. Bellotti. This young woman quietly goes about her artwork with intent and passion each and every day. She is one of the most reliable and dedicated students I have ever known. If there is a homework assignment, she gets it done on time. If there's a deadline, she meets it, even if it means bringing the project home to complete over the weekend. If the teacher is absent and leaves an assignment that involves posting a comment, she is one of the few that will actually post one. She is humble and does not like to draw attention to herself, but I could not help notice over and over again just how wonderful of an artist and person she truly is. Congratulations, Taylor Campbell. As, as an outstanding artist. The next Outstanding Artist Award goes to a young man who works hard on every project and has demonstrated a dedication to art making above and beyond his accomplishments in the classroom. Not deterred by COVID-19 when his original summer plans were canceled, he applied and was accepted to one of the nation's top art schools, Cal Arts. He will be spending four weeks there to further develop his art skills and prepare a portfolio for application to art school in the fall. He not only consistently creates strong work, but is also able to self-reflect and hear others' critiques of his work. I know he is moving toward another successful year ahead with two advanced art classes. Please join me in congratulating Joseph Farrago on the Outstanding Artist Award. And now I'd like to present an award for digital art on behalf of Mr. Eng. And this award goes to Henry Prestige. It is a great pleasure having Henry as my student in the Movie Making 2 Honors class, during which time I witnessed his tremendous growth and development. This development came not only in the area of Movie Making 1 and Movie Making 2 Honors, but in maturity and character as well. Henry works well individually and in a team environment under strict deadlines because of his understanding of strong work ethic, persistence, and intellectual integrity. He earns respect from his peers. It is for these reasons that I present Henry this Outstanding Artist Award. And finally, I'd like to present an Outstanding Artist Award to Casey Fairchild. This outstanding award goes to a talented and dedicated young lady who is always willing to take on extra assignments, whether it is for additional credit or to help out various members of extracurricular activities and or clubs. She is constantly expanding her design portfolio and refining her digital art skills. Casey Fairchild, the art department would like to award you with the Outstanding Artist Award. We wish you success in all your future endeavors. Congratulations. And now I'd like to present the Outstanding Music Awards on behalf of our music department. 
The Outstanding Junior in Choir is presented to a vocal musician with exemplary achievement, preparation, and leadership, along with a positive attitude during all aspects of every chorus rehearsal. This year's Outstanding Juniors in Choir are Cordelia Redmond and Alejandro Mejia. Congratulations. I'd also like to specially recognize for his outstanding accomplishments at districts, all state and nationals, Alex Franklin. Congratulations, Alex. And now I'd like to present the orchestra award on behalf of Mr. Culver. In recognition of outstanding musicianship, dedication, and citizenship, Mr. Culver would like to recognize Jonathan Ran, who made an outstanding contribution to the Westford Academy Orchestra Program. Congratulations, Jonathan. And finally, for excellence in band on behalf of Mr. Sue, for demonstrating leadership, preparation, and a continuous effort to improve, the Junior Excellence in Band Award is presented to Jack Salmonson. Congratulations. And now on behalf of Mr. Towers, I'd like to present the award for theater arts. This student has defined themselves as one of the most hardworking and reliable students in the theater arts department. Always one step ahead and hungry for more, this student excelled in their communication, leadership and management skills in the two honor sections of courses that they were enrolled in, as well as the two main stage productions that they served. With this student, the answer is always yes, and they deliver with class and professionalism. They are curious, mature, incredibly detail-oriented, and embody the principle of subduing personal interests in the best interest of the whole. And that willingness makes Kyla Schultz as remarkably as successful as she is. Congratulations, Kyla. And now on behalf of the Visual and Performing Arts Department, I'd like to congratulate all our award recipients today. Thank you. Bonjour, guten tag, salve, ni hao, buenos dias, and hello, class of 2021. My name is Sharon Charbonnier, and I am the World Language Curriculum Coordinator. On behalf of the World Language Department, we are pleased to recognize the dedication and effort of our students as they have learned to communicate in another language. The Excellence Award this year in Mandarin goes to Georgia Shen. In the words of her teacher, Mrs. Fang, Georgia greatly enjoys learning the Chinese language and culture. Georgia is motivated and a hard worker. She consistently challenges herself in and out of the classroom. In the classroom, Georgia is collaborative and often helps her peers with difficult grammatical concepts. Beyond the classroom, Georgia is an active member of Asian Culture Club and a dance teacher at the Chelmsford Chinese Language School. Georgia is an amazing cross-cultural communicator. In recognition for her scholastic achievements and efforts to promote Chinese culture, Georgia is also being inducted into the National Chinese Honor Society. Gong Shi Ni, Georgia. Hi, class of 2021. It's Mrs. Conti. I'd like to present the award for French for Honors. This year, the award goes to Matthew Ding. Matthew deserves recognition for his positive attitude, determination, curiosity, and of course, just like so many of his classmates, success in a challenging class. Matthew has an endearing way to motivate his classmates to dig deeper and work harder. He leads by example and is always finding ways to make his classmates smile. For all of his hard work, we are pleased to present this award to Matthew Ding. Matthew, felicitacion. I'd like to switch gears a little bit and acknowledge those juniors who have earned membership in the Société Honoraire de Français. The aim of this organization is to stimulate interest in the study of French, promote high standards of scholarship, reward scholastic achievements, create enthusiasm for and an understanding of Francophone culture and civilization, promote and perpetuate international friendship, and to reward efforts towards furthering solidarity in the French-speaking world. In order to be eligible for induction for this honor society, students must be an honors student and have maintained at least an A- in French prior to being selected, and at least a B in all of their other courses. Senior members get to wear the honor cord at graduation. So please extend my congratulations to the following juniors who have earned membership 
into this honor society. Fabian Arnold, Thea Kaplan, Nora Culver, Matthew Day, Rhea Dadavala, Ashley Zenigu, Megana Edpuganti, Benjamin Foley, Samuel Granger, Kylie Four, Samira Kapasi, Alexander Ma, Jessica Markazic, Olivia Rosinski, Vasuda Patil, Ira Razni, Marissa Sacco, Jordan Salmonson, Nithya Sastry, and Angeli Srinivasan. Congratulations. The Excellence Award this year in German goes to Haley Sussman. Haley is one of those students who can brighten up a classroom simply with her presence. But it's not only her presence, but rather her creativity, dedication, and academic brilliance that set her apart from the rest. I always know I can rely on Haley to keep a discussion going, to volunteer for any task, and to motivate her peers to do their best as well. I'm looking forward to seeing Haley excel in AP German next year and watching her hard work pay off when we travel to Germany with the Austausch in June of 2021. Herzlichen Glückwunsch, Haley. Du bist eine Wunderschülerin und du hast es verdient. Ciao. Hello, my name is Stephanie Devlin, and I am here to present the Excellence Award in Spanish for Honors. I am very pleased to announce that this year's recipient is Josie Sang. Josie is an all-around stellar language learner and demonstrates excellence in all the modes of communication. Her writing is clear and precise, and her ability to speak effectively is impressive. Throughout the year, she has actively contributed to class discussion with well-formed ideas and opinions. Josie truly puts care and thought into all of her work and demonstrates the type of curiosity that is certain to help her continue to develop as a superb language learner. It has been a pleasure to have Josie as my student this year. Felicitaciones. I am also pleased to announce the names of the Spanish students who have fulfilled the requirements to become members of the Westford Academy chapter of the Sociedad Honoraria Hispanica, the National Spanish Honor Society for High School Students. To qualify for membership in this society, students must maintain an average above 90% throughout the year. Those students from Spanish for Honors who have qualified for the first time this year are Khan Eidogan, Lauren Dougherty, Evelyn Miller, Adi Engineer, Abigail Morse, Isabella Fernandez, Kunal Patil, Teja Kosuru, Jonathan Ran, James Mama, Divya Sambath Kumar, Shankar Navali, Josie Zeng, Antara Parma, Madeline Rose, Anusha Parikh, Megan Tan, Veronica Zhu, and Tanya Sani. Those juniors from Spanish Three Honors who have qualified for the first time this year are Jeremy Limbert, Robin Bryce, and Neil Joshi. Students who, will, who were inducted in past years and continue to be members in good standing this year are Toby Bluestein, Alicia Bergeron, Lauren Wasak, and Jasmine Rodriguez. Congratulations to all of these students. We miss you and look forward to seeing you again next year in our Spanish classes. Salvete omnes, my name is Ms. Chasse and I am presenting the Latin for Excellence Award. The Excellence Award this year in Latin goes to Karen Jin. 
Karen knows her grammar and has great instincts when interpreting complex, authentic readings. She demonstrates tremendous attention to both the little details of a Latin text in the greater picture of cultural and historical context. Her writing and analysis skills are impressive and she continues to turn in high quality work during this period of remote learning. Gratulaciones, Karen. In addition, I am pleased to recognize Jeremy Limbert, who has met the criteria for induction into the Latin Honor Society. Gratulaciones, Jeremy. Worthy representative award goes to a person, a student who exemplifies the best in character, scholarship, and service to the school community. The student is distinguished not only by his or her participation in a myriad of activities, but also by the level of commitment that is brought to each endeavor. Thank you for making Westford Academy a better place. I'm proud to introduce the class of 2021 most worthy representatives, Connor Fitzgerald, Abigail Rosenthal Pitts. Congratulations. Good evening, class of 2021 parents and everyone watching tonight. What a terrific award ceremony. It's been hard doing everything virtually, but um, it doesn't diminish from all the hard work and dedication you put into your studies and into everything you did during junior year. Congratulations to all. I hope you all have a great, safe, healthy, and then a productive summer as you get ready for senior year. Juniors, take advantage of the college essays, the virtual tours, or any of you going off to different adventures, just get ahead of your game. We'd love you to come back for senior year ready to roll, uh, whatever that looks like. There are still a lot of unknowns, um, but I guarantee this, your class advisors, Ms. Fisher, Mrs. Lonergan, and myself, your senior dean, are you already seniors, um, are looking forward to making 2021 the best for you. Um, Viraj, your class president, has done a tremendous job keeping you informed, keeping us informed about what you guys are feeling during this time. Um, if you have any suggestions, please reach out to any of your class leaders, um, that's student council and class officers, class advisors, and myself. Let us know what you want and within the limits of what we can do with all that's going on with this pandemic, we will try our best to make it all happen. So I look forward to seeing everyone next year. 
under one roof, if at all possible, or whatever it needs to look like, we will make it happen. And I just wish you the best. And again, congratulations on all the awards tonight. Thank you and have a great evening.